Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back into another video. And today, I'm going to be telling you guys everything you guys need to expect for Chapter 4 Season 5. So first off, let's take a look at the teasers we got today from Fortnite. So they actually tweeted out different parts every 1-2 to two hours of a rift showing a lot of OG items. This includes Remix Battle Pass skins like the Peely plus Little Whip, Team Leader plus Raven, Ragnarok plus Omega, Black Knight plus Ice King, plus returning vehicles like the Ballers, Planes, Shopping Carts, and ATKs. There's also returning OG items like the OG AR, Turrets, and Traps. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. Alright, to further prove that we're going back to the OG season, the co-founder of Epic Games tweets out one word to describe the new season, and he said Rewind, further proving that we're going back to the OG season. But there was a ton of speculation that Zero Build, Tactical Sprint, and Mantling would be vaulted next season. But Fortnite tweeted out saying Mantling, Tax Sprint, is staying next season. And as well as game files showing that Zero Build is staying, and that they'll be adding a bunch of zip lines on the map to rotate in Zero Build. So we know that the Chapter 1 Season 5 map is returning, but we actually have a high chance to be switching seasons in Chapter 1, after one week of playing on the season 5 map. So we could go from playing on the season 5 map for one week. And then alternate to like a season 7, 8, or 10 map on chapter 1 for the other weeks. So that could be very fun and refreshing for OG Fortnite players to play on all the different maps in a sh short amount of time. If you guys don't know the POIs of chapter 1 season 5 or you guys haven't played it. Um, here's the map and all the POIs. So here's all the POIs. You have Junk Junction, Haunted Hills. Pleasant Park, Snobby Shores, Tilted Towers, Greasy Grove, Shifty Shafts, Flush Factory, Lucky Landing, Fatal Fields, Paradise Palms, Dusty Divot, Retail Row, Lonely Lodge, Wailing Woods, Tomato Town, Risky Reels, and Lazy Links. Those are all the named POIs. You also have the other unnamed POIs like Crates, um, Racetrack, uh, Soccer Field, and some other ones that... Are pretty good spots so comment down below if you guys think they are good and let's check the loot pool for chapter one season five if you guys haven't played it or kind of forgot here's all the weapons vehicles and other things in the chapter one season five loot pool. all right so here's a little quick loot pool of chapter one season five you have the og scar and the og burst you have the og scoped assault rifle you have the tommy gun the lmg the silent suppressed scar the bolt action sniper, the hunting rifle, the semi-auto sniper, the heavy sniper, the OG pump, the OG heavy shotgun, the OG tack, the double barrel shotgun, the P90, the silent suppressed SMG, the tactical SMG, the rocket launcher, guided missile, grenade launcher, minigun, and then the OG Pistol and the OG Revolver. But I don't know if we're going to get all these or we might get like some of the skins uh, like reskinned or, or new weapons reskinned to the old ones. I don't know. And then this is for like the utility and heals. We had grenades, uh, clingers, impulse and shockwaves. We had a rift to go, order forts, uh, grappler gun, stink bombs, order fortress, Bandages, med kits, minis, big slopes, and chug jug were in the season. And we also had four traps, which were the bouncers, launch pad, campfires, and the OG just trap. And as the vehicles go, we had the ATK, shopping cart, planes, and ballers. So this would be a very good season if everything comes to true. And I think it's going to be pretty good. Okay, so we're going to talk about my thoughts about the new season returning and what could it mean for Fortnite. So obviously it's going to be very big for Fortnite. I think we're going to see a very large increase in viewership at the start of uh, the new season. Probably the first five days we're going to have like, I would say around like almost a million people watching at least. We're going to have way more than a million people playing. Um, A lot of returning players are going to come back. And I guess a lot of the new players who didn't play Chapter 1 could relive the moments of Chapter 1. Because I have a feeling like a lot of the younger kids didn't really get to play the OG season. So it... It will be fun for them and the OG players. Like, I know a lot of people who are coming back just to play this new season because it's going to be 
the OG season. So it's going to be very hyped. I'd say it might get too hyped if we don't um, feel like we're going back to like the actual thing. I feel like if it's like the OG Atlantis creative map that they made for Fortnite, then like a lot of people are going to complain, but a lot of people might like it. Um, I think people just want to go back to play and land at the OG spots and have a little nostalgia uh, playing with their friends back like in like December of 2018. So I feel like it will be very good for Fortnite. Um, my one thing is like, I don't know how they're going to do it with like the OG weapon skins, the OG graphics and the OG sounds. Like for me, the OG graphics and sounds were very nostalgic for me and it made the game. Like if I went back to Fortnite and I had the OG sounds, I feel like I would have a way better experience playing like that no matter if it would make me like die more i feel like it would be fun and very nostalgic to play and yeah i think it's just gonna be a very good uh thing to do uh for epic and fortnite and see a lot of people playing and hopefully maybe it brings back uh the fortnite comp scene and maybe it nothing i don't know that's it for the video if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one